Yeah, now, um, LaVita, if you would like to join the call by pushing star six and share your testimony, we would love that. LaVita? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead, dear. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm LaVita Elk. I live in Oregon, and I have been on the age pill double dosing for two months. When I first started it, I was in a pretty down state i had my health had been pretty precarious for several years my um i'm 72 years old and my metabolism and my hormones were at about a 90 year old and i'm a very active person and last summer while i was gardening i got poked in the leg uh, by bamboo steak and when I tried to get, I thought there might be something in there. I tried to get it out. And I finally went to the emergency room. And they told me that it was no big deal. I wasn't going to die. And they shoved me back out the door. They said, go to a regular doctor. So I went to my regular doctor. By that time, it had scabbed over. And they wouldn't do anything about it. I kept saying, I think there's something in there. Well, after all this, a month and a half later, I pull out a two-inch shaft of bamboo out of my leg. By that time, I was having triple vision, terrible, terrible headaches, and I thought maybe I was about to have a stroke, and went in, they ended by doing a CAT scan, they couldn't find anything. But what we did find is I was totally septic. I had all this infection in my blood and it had gone into my brain. Well, it was about the time I started the pill. And I started double dosing it. And in the process, I had just barely started on it. And my urine was green. I mean, really bright green. And uh, one of my best friends, she's a phlebotomist. She told me that you're kicking out infection, Lolita. That's what the, your urine's telling you is it's kicking infection out of your body. And because I was double dosing, I got pretty toxic, and I was very aware that the types of headaches I was having be, was because I was detoxing really fast. And I thought about backing off, and I said, no, I'm going to do this. I'm home. I can do this. And so I just continued. The urine stayed green like that for three weeks. And I had toxic headaches on and off. And I had had a lot of inflammation in my system and gastrointestinal problems, having a really hard time digesting stuff. I thought I was probably getting allergic to milk. There's all sorts of stuff going on in my body. It was just breaking down. Couldn't sleep at night. I had aches and pains. My knees were worn out. Well, it's been two months now. My skin is like silk. A lot of the age spots have gone away. and that, But all the inflammation has gone out of my body. And all the infection is gone. And I know my hormones and metabolism is getting better every day. It gave me my life back. And the depression stopped to the degree it was gone. I sleep at night without having to wake up because my legs are all hurting. And, um, boy, it, I just really am thankful that it's given me my life back. I can travel now and I have hope. From the second day I started taking that, well, I had hope. And I am so thankful for that. I was a therapist for years, and I know how people go down in the processes of sickness. And as your body starts breaking down, I'm very aware of the process and how it affects you emotionally. And so to me, this has been a... Wonderful lesson for in some ways, but also the fact that you can recover. And 
Uh, I've been going swimming every day and really working hard at recovering. In process, I have gotten so passionate about the product that uh, a lot of my whole clients want to buy it. <laughs> and That's so awesome. It's, it, yeah, it's made it really easy to sell that way, as well as my daughter is a yoga instructor. And this coming weekend, they have uh, uh, next weekend, the 14th, uh, they're having a, a kind of a sharing yoga whole day conference type of thing. And um, I'm going to be offering the ripped really helps them with a lot of the instructors because a lot of times they teach so much they get so sore and the rip product helps their muscles recover and helps with their downtime. And so they really like that product besides the age bill. My daughter just had turned 38 and she started going through menopause and was having terrible night sweats that was keeping her awake all night. She was having problems doing her classes during the day because she was having these hot flashes. I put her on the age pill, and in less than three weeks, they were all gone. So That's wonderful. It really established her metabolism. So, uh, And her skin just smoothed out, and she had a scar on her face from when she was a little girl, and it's gone away. <laughs> That's pretty Those amazing. Those are fantastic those are fantastic testimonies, yeah. Levita. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I appreciate that. You're it's welcome. Very exciting. And thank thank all of you guys for creating and I'm I'm thankful to Tom for creating this and bringing this product to us and for all those people out there that got it to me, including you. <laughs> so, um but the next person on the line, hopefully, Trevor, if you're on the line to share your testimonial. Hi, Katie. Hi, Trevor. Oh, great. Oh, gosh, um, that was great. Thanks, Gordon. Um, this is quite a significant testimonial, actually. Uh, it's been a uh, uh, quite a process. Uh, I'm trying to figure where to begin, really. Um, this, this testimonial is in regards to my partner, Shah. Um, she she actually um, had suffered from quite a significant um, autoimmune affliction or disease um, called tachyosis arteritis. And uh, anyway, this particular form of uh, autoimmune uh, affects the aortic arch, uh, which comes out of the heart, the main artery that feeds uh, the body. And um, anyway, it sort of goes back a, a bit, and I'd just like to backtrack just a little bit really because... You know, we've only had the age pill for about eight weeks now and um, there is a little bit in behind all this and i really got to bring up the triangle of life and, and, I, and I want to try and keep this bit, bit short because I know there's a few people going to be on the call tonight but the triangle of life was quite significant um, in, in, in this particular disease and, um, you know, getting the inflammation out of the body and, uh, uh, and uh, this... Uh, <laughs> This uh, particular disease uh, really affected Char's heart health and uh, she suffered a, um, a heart failure going back about four years and uh, her aortic valve wasn't functioning very well and uh, she was getting a lot of fluid, fluid built up in the body and it went on to uh, become more severe to, to extreme and uh, it got to a point where um, her heart wasn't functioning very well at all. Um, Due to this disease, uh, one good thing, you know, being, you know, having the triangle of life, um, we were able to really control the inflammation in the body there, and uh, and uh, unbeknownst to her rheumatologist, her inflammation markers were right down, and she wasn't on any medications whatsoever. But anyway, uh, Shah did go in and have a um, an aortic valve uh, replaced, and um, that was in March this year. And she recovered quite quickly from that. And, uh, and lo and behold, eight weeks ago, we get hold of this age pill. Now, Shard's health has been quite good um, since the um, heart operation. Uh, but, um, you know, she still had this um, uh, autoimmune affliction. And uh, what, it, what it really is, is uh, it's also known as pulseless, pulseless disease. And what happens is with TAC, with TAC is that the... Uh, 
the, the arteries that come off um, that feed the arms and the, and the carotid arteries that feed the brain and that they become occluded, they become blocked and uh, it's also known as pulseless disease. So uh, Shah hasn't been able to uh, get a, um, a blood pressure read in those arms and what they generally do is take blood pressures in the legs. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago we were just sitting and we thought, you know, we generally check blood pressure in the leg and what we thought we'd do is just put the, um, you know, the blood pressure cuff on, on Shah's arm and, and you wouldn't believe it. We, uh, we were sitting there and the machine was pumping up and I said to Shah, I said, this is working. And generally what happens is, is that we get an error read and uh, we can't get a blood pressure read at all. But it was working and we ended up getting a blood pressure read. So we, couldn't, we thought, well, how good is this? And uh, we went to the other arm and... Uh, once again, we, we, we got another blood pressure read. Now, this was two weeks ago, and shah has been uh, monitoring her blood pressure reads in her arms, and uh, they've actually been improving very slightly as, as, as the days go by. So, you know, that that's really significant, and we're just so wrapped about that. And, uh, you know, it just sort of shows that, uh, yeah, that it's been such a significant result for this. Hello? Hello, is that Renee? Yeah. Sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, I can great. hear you now. So. Okay, great. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Um, how did you say it? Renee? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Very good. So I just uh, I've got a few questions to ask about your dog Einstein, just to sort of share mm-hmm. with everyone. So maybe if you could tell us where you uh, live, like what country and state you live in. Um, I live in Watonga, Oklahoma, in the United States. Mhm. Okay. And so your dog uh, is called Rhinestone. It's a so uh, Rhinestone, and he was what breed of dog is he and age? He is a full-blooded Basset Hound. And I adopted him from a family, so I'm not positive how old he is, but I'm guessing he's around 13 or 14. Oh, wow. Old. Okay. And so um, so what was going on with your dog recently? So you had some challenges going on with Ryan? Yeah. So about the 1st of March, he um, lost control of one of his back legs, and he was just, you know, his back end was really wobbly, and he was dragging his left back leg, and... Um, you know, I took him to the vet and the vet pretty much told me that he had nerve damage Mm. and that it probably wouldn't correct and that he would just drag that leg until he got sores and then we would have to amputate it. Well, that didn't sit well with me Mm, as a dog mom, so um, yeah, started looking for other options. Okay. And so, uh, so what did you then do? So you said you looked for other options. So what did you well, yeah, then? I had actually been, um, you know, on the Sizzle for Pets page, and I'm pretty familiar with Sizzle anyway. Mm-hmm. And um, so literally I left the vet and I went and I started him on the age pill that day because I was like, I will not be, we're not going to be defeated. This is, we're going to see what we can do with the age pill. Right. And uh, how much did you start giving rhinestone? I just started him on one capsule a day Mm -hmm. um, because that has kind of been what people were doing. So that's literally all he's been on is just one capsule a day. Okay. And how do you give it to him? Do you, um, is it easy to, for him to eat it? I mean, do you have any challenges there? I usually hide it in something and he'll, you know, he'll take it pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Um, there have been times that he's, you know, kind of figured it out, and I've just had to <laughs> make him take it. But um, he, yeah, he usually will take it in like some peanut butter or a hot dog or some cheese or something like that. Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, because I noticed when I give it to Milo, I sometimes I stick it inside a little bit of piece of banana. But there's the odd occasion mm-hmm. that you'll notice that. It's in there, yeah. and then the, the, yeah. the banana will go, and the tablet will end up on the floor. Yeah. So I can usually, if I that. can get him something that he doesn't bite, then mm-hmm. I can, you know, it, that works better. Yeah, definitely. 
And so uh, how do you feel that it's like helped him? Like how, when did you start noticing any changes and what did you notice? Oh, my gosh. I felt like it almost was like an immediate, you know, after I, I posted three weeks after he had been on it. But at three weeks, he had got his foot back up underneath him and he was no longer dragging it. He wasn't using it a lot, but he wasn't dragging it, which was a huge deal. You know, that's, you know, yeah, that's kind of warding off the amputation thing so he wasn't using it too well but he was he was getting it underneath him again and so that was that was a big thing for me you know and he was definitely getting more mobile after at just three weeks and I was like I was blown away wow wow so three weeks and so um how long has it been now for rhinestone that he's been on the age pill I was looking at that and I'm I think it's been around nine weeks now, mm-hmm. and he he's using his leg. He walks on it almost pretty normally. He goes. He's a little oh, bit wow. wobbly. You can tell mm-hmm. that he can. He still has a little bit of you know ways to go, but he's also running and he's very useful. You know, he can spin circles and you know just do what he couldn't do. And within the last couple of weeks, he's actually started using the stairs again to our oh, house. Wow. Like. Before we were having to, we had to purchase a sling to kind of help him get into the house, mm-hmm. and he's he's now doing that on his own now. So, oh, that's fantastic! He must be really happy. That's wonderful. Yes, news. yes, that's it's. He's almost back to almost full mobility. Um, he requires very little assistance from us. You know, he's definitely getting, you know, his mobility back, which was which was a big deal. Wow, fantastic. And so um, how do you feel about the age pill now? And do you, do you share it or tell any other of your friends or family who, you know, have pets? I I do. Like, I yes. Um, I think that the age pill was, you know, the, the deciding factor on, you know, getting rhinestone back to his youthful self. Um, I don't believe that we would be where we are today without it. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Great. What an awesome story. I'm so grateful that you were able to take the time today and share the story um, because I'm sure that, yeah, thank you. I'm sure that um, heaps of people listening will really enjoy listening to the story and get a lot out of it and it'll inspire some other people as well. So thanks again. Yeah. No problem. All right. Well, thank you for your time today. Speak to you soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. Sure. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Mike, Mike, Mike's been a patient and uh, a friend of mine for, gosh, how long has it been? Like 20-some years. And yeah, at Mike's least 26, been, 27. Wow. Wow. Time flies. And uh, Mike's been de- dealing with uh, uh, multiple sclerosis um, since even before that, right, Mike? It's been Well, I was been diagnosed in 92. In- and I think well, I was so diagnosed. Be, yeah, it was I? I was diagnosed before I started seeing you. Right, right. And it, it's been a, it's 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 been a progression, of course. And yeah. um, I I had been urging Mike for a while to try the age pill because I heard so many neat things and I experienced some neat things. And finally, what? How long has it been, Mike? About a month. Start taking uh, the age pill? I'm on my second month. Okay, start your second month. Correct. And uh, maybe you maybe you can share with us some of the things that you've noticed um, since you started taking the pill. All right. The first thing I really noticed was uh, my hip pain went away, which I was going to see Dr. Kim for treatments on my hips every week. I, I don't have any more hip pain. It's totally gone. My knee pain is gone. Uh, I have, I've i always had numbness in my arms and hands, and that is pretty much gone. And uh, my hand strength has improved immensely. Uh, I'm just noticing a lot of different things that... Uh, that are really, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with. Uh, my speech has improved uh, just within 
I mean, a month ago, I would not be able to be on this call because I couldn't, I could barely get the words out to talk. I was, ju I was just going to say that because uh, you are sounding so good this evening that, you know, uh, like I said, a month or so ago, you, you wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been able to understand much of what you were saying. Right. Yeah, I'd be stumbling and stuttering over words, which now I'm almost as if I'm speaking so uh, freely and normally, I can't believe it myself. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, that, that's impressive. Yeah. Mike, this and is Dr. Dr. Kurt. If I could. I, I, got, I, I just got a question. Hi, a, lot of, a lot of patients that have multiple sclerosis, they have difficulty going up and down stairs. How, have, has that yes. changed at all? Yes, I have noticed. I've, uh, in fact, uh, today I went down in the basement, and then I also went outside, and it was, it was compared to what it's been, it was pretty warm here, probably 46, 48 degrees, and I went outside for a short walk, and uh, it, I'm, I'm impressed a lot with how well I'm walking. And one other thing I'd like to mention is multiple sclerosis brings a lot of depression and anxiety. And since I've been using the AIDS pill, uh, my depression and anxiety is a lot less than what it was. Wow, that's amazing. Great. Well, um, Mike, would you... I mean, would would, you uh, would, go ahead. Go ahead, Kurt. Well, I was just going to say, Mike, if you would, if you would promise to get back on in a couple of months and just kind of um, let people know what, what you've noticed a couple months from now, that would really be great. Absolutely. Also, I'm, I'm realizing now, too, that I've had a lot of issues with numbness in my feet and pain in my ankles and my feet. That pain is gone. Wow, it's gone. And uh, Yeah, then there's no numbness in my feet at all. Um, I used to call it, for lack of a better term, travelers, the pain I had, because it would start maybe in the feet and progress its way. It would go from the feet to the ankles to the calves or in the reverse, from the lower back to the hips to the thighs. But it, I never knew where or when it would come. And I have, I've been, quite frankly, uh, almost pain-free since I started the age bill. For a wow. short time afterwards. You know, after after 26 years of adjusting, Mike, uh, Dr. Kurt, maybe maybe finally I got it right, huh? <laughs> yeah. There that that hammer you were using <laughs> didn't didn't do all the tricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Kim, uh, Mike, um, I'm so happy for you, buddy. Thanks, thanks for bringing Mike on, and Mike, thanks for sharing your story. It's uh, perfect. One more thing, real quick. Um, I was told by the doctors, and I did. I did uh, go through the medi the the medications, or as I like, I would rather call them the drugs, and they were horrible for me. The side effects were terrible. But one of the doctors told me, "There's nothing we can do for you. Go home and do the best you can." So when you hear something like that, uh, I don't know what else. You know, if you're listening to doctors only as we like to call them, real doctors, and they tell you something <laughs> like that, boy, they don't give you a lot of hope. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no, they don't. Age, though, there's there's uh, hope. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Dr. Kim. Um, I'm going to see if Mary, Mary, are you still on the line? Mary from California? Can you hear me now? I hear you. Oh, my gosh. It would not let me unmute. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but okay. you can't shut me up. I'm here now. <laughs> All right. Well, Mary, I appreciate you getting on the call and, you know, kind of last minute and getting a hold of you and saying, you know, hey, why don't you share your story? And, and, and really, I think your story is, is, is a good one as well. I mean, how many people that they get older and all of a sudden they start finding out that they can't be as active as they want to be. So I'll just, I'll just hand it over to you without, without telling much more. All righty. Well, you mentioned the knees and the arthritis, but it's so much more than that because it's an autoimmune called mixed connective tissue disease. 
and it's an overlay of three diseases. It's lupus, scoloderma, and myopolymyitis, I hope I said that right, mm -hmm. um, which the, the last one is the one that really kicks my butt. It attacks the muscles, the soft tissue, the tendons. So like Mike was saying, his pain traveled, and mine does too. It goes from mid-back down to, down to the toes. Um, there was sometimes when I'd be just stopped in my tracks if I was walking, uh, my right foot would hurt so bad I, I just I had to stop. And then it would release and I could go on about my business and same with the groin area, that would kick in and it would stop me in my tracks. And I've got to say that with the age pill, it's really, I think I've found my magic pill. <clears throat> I've been looking for it for a long time, like you know, Kurt, and uh, my pain is so much less than it was. Now, do I still have issues? Yeah, I still have issues. I'm still taking a double dose. It seems like if I try and drop it down, then I things start coming back. And before I was taking this, my my feet and my legs would cramp so bad at night that I just, uh, uh, I'd wake up, I'd have to get up, I'd have to stand up to release it, and it just it was terrible. The toes would curl up, and since I started taking the age pill, I do not have those cramps in my feet, my legs, no place. The only place I'll have a cramp now is when I'm sitting, flipping the, through the tablet, and the finger gets uh, worn out and it just it cramps up, but that's the only cramp I have now. And oh, no. it's just been an absolute godsend. And I'm going out tonight to go dancing. Excellent. And and Mary, I mean, I didn't. I, I mean, I, I how how old? If you'd want to share with people, I mean, and when did you start noticing that you were having the symptoms in your legs? Um, it was after an uh, arthroscopic knee surgery. Is, is when I was taking another product prior to that, which was really keeping the pain away. But it's like when I had that arthroscopic surgery, it just exploded. And that's when that mixed connective tissue disease just went crazy. It took me a good two years for that knee to stop having pain just after arthroscopic surgery. And how long ago was that? That was in 2011. Seven years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've wrestled with this stuff. I'm, I don't take medication. I'm just not going to take medication. Um, 80 years old, and I think I can do without it. Very nice. Thank you. As long as I can keep on my age. <laughs> there you go. So I, I'm, I'm just really happy about it. Excellent. Well, Mary, thanks for getting on and sharing. Elizabeth, can you hear me all right? I can hear you great, Kurt. How are you tonight? All right. I'm doing great. Thanks for being on the call. You know, what an exciting time uh, in Sizzle. We're seeing so much happening uh, with the new comp plan, with everything that's uh, that, that's going on, um, all the great new products that we've had. And, and I just know that... that, that uh, we're moving forward to make things even better. But uh, tonight I wanted to share a few testimonials. Um, and, and Elizabeth, I think I'll, I'll start with yours. Uh, the other day when you posted about your daughter, how exciting mm -hmm. is that? She, um, you know, she, she had uh, type 1 diabetic, diabetes for a long time and, so, mm -hmm. and, and some thyroid issues. So I'm just going to hand it over to you and, and kind of let you tell her story. All right. Um, well, that's actually why we are in sizzle is because of Tara's type 1 diabetes. It really got me to digging in and figuring out what to do about, hold on, i got to get my baby sidetracked in here just a sec. Um, the, with her type 1 diabetes, I left the hospital thinking, man, there's got to be more than what the doctors are telling me. So I started digging in and finding as many things as I could to help her with her immune system. And so then when I found Sizzle, I knew exactly what it was as far as how great the products were. And um, then we went forward from there. Tara's actually been taking the products probably for, it's gonna be 
four years this next June, I think. Um, and I've always felt that because of the sizzle products, she is healthier, but it was confirmed by her endocrinologist every time we've gone for the last three years to the endocrinologist, because um, we'd ended up switching, she said, Tara's not normal. She's not normal for a type one diabetes diabetic because she doesn't get sick. She doesn't have scar tissue. She doesn't um, have eye problems. She doesn't have extreme blood sugars. She, so because of all of that, um, she would ask me lots of questions. Um, and um, so then after the AGE pill came out and I'd, or even before I'd been paying attention to what Tom Maurer said and the, how it worked. So I put Tara on it as well as my husband and I, but because Tara has um, the blood work done frequently, we could also see what it's doing inside of her body. She's going to be 20 this next month. And even though she's this young, um, it's been amazing to, to see the little changes in her body with the blood work. Now, Tara's TSH had been high and her free T4 had been extremely low. And um, so then the endocrinologist says, okay, we're watching for, um, oh, is it called Hoshimoto's thyroiditis? Um, so in six months, it's gone down from 5.92, her TSH has, down to 3.32. So it's gone from high down to a normal rate. Um, her T free T4 has come up only from 0.79 to 0.92, but it is rising. So when the endocrinologist says, well, I don't think we need to do anything extra, you know, we're not definitely not going to put her on anything now as far as the thyroid, um, oh, the, um, what do you call them? Extra medication. So that has been exciting. Alan, you know, I know you've had a lot of health problems in your, in your, in your uh, life. Tell us a little bit about what's going on since you've been on the age bill and since, well, since you've been on all the products, really. Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome from beautiful Canada. Actually, I haven't had uh, health problems all my life. It's only in the last 11 years since I had my snowmobile accident. Before that, I never had any health problems. Uh, and then after my snowmobile accident, all hell broke loose. And, uh, you know, it, it was uh, it was a such thing as uh, replacing nerves and nerve transplants and muscle transplants and uh, have an open heart surgery and a pacemaker put in and being clinically dead three times and wind up with uh, diabetes. Uh, it was, it was just a never, never ending thing. You know, eight years ago, I contacted Tom Maurer and we started talking about uh, some of the ingredients, some of the products and things like that. And uh, you know, here we are, here we are eight years later now. And uh, my health has absolutely turned around 100%. Uh, not only just because we're, you know, most people are talking about the age product right now, but I'm, I'm talking of, uh, of all the products that have come along in the last eight years through Sizzle. Uh, you know, the Triangle Life, the Facoitin, the Spectrumax, the Eternity. And a lot of people don't understand that where well, the Eternity is the fountain of youth. It, uh, it takes a certain one gene and, 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 and escalates it or, or what we call gives it a reboot. And, uh, and, and, and that's your aging gene. And it starts to reactivate that in the body. And uh, that was one of the biggest things back uh, after I had my nerve transplants done uh, as the eternity. And then when they brought along the sizzling, uh, I was diagnosed already with type 2 diabetes. And that's not a fun thing. Uh, I was always worried. And, and diabetes does not run in our family. Uh, it was strictly because I'd gained the belly fat and... Uh, and the years of playing hockey and on the road and bad eating and eventually it, it, it kicked in and I uh, wound up with type 2 diabetes and wind up going on metform, uh, two caps, two, two pills in the morning, two in the evening, 2,000 milligrams a day. And uh, not a fun uh, when you start to say, hey, I've got to live with diabetes. And so I did a lot of studying on diabetes. I did a tremendous a lot of studying. 
on on because I just I knew that diabetes can be beaten. Uh, you don't have to live with diabetes. Type one's a little bit different, but type two you do not have to live with it. So Tom, I remember talking to Tom about five years ago, and I said, Tom, if you can bring out a a, a shake, if you can bring out a shake with no sugar, uh, bring out with a great protein, and add everything into it, I mean, I it would be incredible. And he did. Tom brought about a nice cellular protein product. Uh, I started taking that thing every single morning along with the healthy coffee. I mean, the coffee's to die for, folks. It's just probably the greatest coffee you're ever going to drink. And I'd have a banana, and that's what my morning consisted of. And that was five years ago. And I continued, and I continued that. And I continued on the products. And uh, I just came back from my two-and-a-half-year checkup. Or I get, I actually get tested every three months because of my open heart and my diabetes. But now I've been, I've been clean of diabetes now for two years and three months. Now that's extraordinary. My doctors are so, so excited because two years and 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 two and a half years now, my my sugar levels have been anywhere from four, five point eight to six point one, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, but not only along with that, you know, diabetes goes along with coronary artery disease. It goes along with uh, the cholesterol problem. And, and then that's a very serious problem. Well, I can tell you now my cholesterol levels are perfect. Uh, my, my coronary, I, I'm doing anywhere from, oh, roughly 10 to 15 kilometers every single day. Um, and no sign, like I said, no sign of diabetes, no sign of any heart. In fact, my heart is just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, when I went on the H bill in, Ju- in July of last year, I remember when they, when they brought the product out, I was one of the very first ones to go on the product. And, and I wound up with the atypical cancer cells that summer, last summer and last fall. Took a hell of a scare and I wound up with two cysts in my liver, or my, pardon me, my kidney. And so I went in to see the specialist, got all the blood work done, and sure as heck, we had atypical cancer cells. And if you ever want to look that up, that's the starting of cancer. And that turns into tumors. And we were scared that those two cysts might have been turned into tumors already. So we started going through and I started continuing and I upped the dosage of the age still. And uh, in uh, uh, September, we had we had all the blood work and everything done in, in, September, in August. And then in September, I went into the specialist in Saskatoon and had uh, all the inner work done where they go inside you. And they tested and, and checked these those two cysts, and they were not malignant. There was no there was no cancer, but we had these cancer cells. So I was treated for one month with the chemo pill, not not radiate, not not. I didn't have to go in for chemo. I was actually treated with the with the pill, and along with that, I was taking the age pill. And if you do any work and any understanding of the age pill, what it does to cells and killing off bad cells, it's quite important because when I went back in December. For my blood work, when I had all my blood work done at the end of November, I went back to my doctor in December. My blood work, everything was absolutely 100%. No atypical cancer cells. But not only that, we did an ultrasound, and those two cysts were completely gone away from my uh, my bladder. So here we go from uh, having atypical cancer cells in the kidney and in the bladder, which is two of the worst places you can get it. And it could spread very quickly. And we caught it. And we were able to to quarantine it, and not only that, we were able to kill it. So those are quite significant changes that I can tell you about. Number one, the diabetes. And if you have not been on my cellular protein, if you're not taking the sizzling every single morning, you're a diabetic. Please, please get on it as fast as possible. And you got to be on the H bill. I mean, that it, it's the bomb of the bomb of the bomb. It's probably the greatest nutritional supplement that's ever come along in my 40 years of doing this industry. I'm in my 40th year of, of, of the network marketing industry. Out of those 40, year, 40 years, I've been involved with uh, health products. And I could tell you honestly, this product, the age pill, is, is the greatest product that I've seen come along in all those 40 years. And I'll tell you what, you can take this product and singly build your whole company just on that one product and introduce. And that's what I do. I introduce people to the company on one product. I don't talk about all the other products. I'm telling you about a few because of my own testimonial, but I start to talk to people about that one product and that leads to everybody else. So we're excited about that. And I, I'm happy to be on the call tonight and I'm going to turn the call back. So we're going to a concert tonight and my sister and my and my cousin, because it's a benefit concert to a bunch of the hockey players that were killed up here. So I got to run. Take, take care, Kurt.
Thanks, Alan. Thanks for sharing your doc, your your story with everybody. Thank you. So next we've got Sabra on the line. If you can unmute yourself with star six, that'd be great. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I, I'm Sabra, and I'm in um, the Pacific Northwest in the United States. And uh, I have some wonderful things that are happening with me and, and the age pill, but I really wanted to share what happened with my friend who I got on the age pill after about um, three weeks, I'd say. He was telling me he's, he has diabetes, and he's had it for about 15 years, and he said that his feet hurt him so bad with peripheral neuropathy uh, that he would lay awake at night and just kind of wiggle his feet because they hurt so bad and he couldn't sleep. And um, he, uh, his feet were so numb that he would lose his balance and he would kind of lilt to the left, you know, when he'd, he'd walk and things. And um, I, I noticed that. And, and uh, he said that uh, after about three weeks of taking the age pill that he started noticing some tingling and some sensation on the bottom of his feet that he, he thought he was feeling the floor. And uh, so as time went on, he said that he really was feeling the floor under his feet. His balance got better. I watched as, you know, I'd see him walking, and I could see that he was more sure-footed, and he was walking more spryly. I mean, it was, it was great. And uh, he's been on it about three months now, and uh, he tells me that it's like uh, somebody took his old feet and he gave him brand new feet. So he's just really thrilled with what the age pill has done for him. Uh, he, he's a vet, and he went to the, uh, uh, the hospital the other day, and he was really excited when he got back. He said all of his uh, blood pressure, his uh, all of the things that were uh, you know wrong with him before, all of those things are in normal range. He got a really good bill of health, and that's only after three months of taking the age pill. I'm just, I'm very excited for him and new lease on life. He's 75. I don't think I mentioned that. So, uh, you know, I'm just really proud of him that he's making such progress. Wow, that is fantastic. Thank you for sharing that testimonial. I'm going to bring my friend uh, Ed Davis on the call, um, and Ed. Uh, if you would, uh, you're, I've, I've unmuted you. Tell a little bit about what's going on. Tell a little bit about your condition, how long you've had it, and what happened last summer and what's been happening since January of this year. Okay, here's my deal. I've uh, been a type 1 diabetic for 44 years and uh, run an insulin pump, you know, so fairly well controlled. And... Two summers ago, Kurt and I, one, um, Kurt and I were actually going to go fishing on a Sunday morning, and I got up and my right eye was kind of blurry, and I complained about it all day. And Monday went to the see a specialist because I am a diabetic, and by then my vision is instead of being twenty twenty, it's twenty twenty two hundred. So I'm virtually blind in my right eye. And I put up with that over an hour, or a year and a half and, you know, tried different things and different uh, supposed remedies. And then Kurt gets me on the age pill. So I take it for 30 days. I'm just going to start my second bottle. And I happen to have a, eye doctor appointment. So I go in and I'm telling him that I'm on this age pill. And of course he doesn't know anything about it. And I don't know exactly what's in it. I just trust Kurt. So we go and they're testing my eyes again. And I go from 20, 2200 to 20, 2150 in 30 days. And I've been taking it ever since. And vision is still a little blurry, but it's an improvement. And that's, that's why I stay on it. Yeah, and the thing about it is, is that you had tried a number of things, even some of the uh, different products I'd thrown at you, and, and nothing seemed to make a difference. This is the first one where you're saying, you know, now you can kind of see blurry shapes anyhow, right? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I can I can make things out 
you know, I still wouldn't be able to read a, uh, a sign as I drive by it. Um, but am I going to know there's a sign there? Absolutely. So it, it has go. improved. Perfect. Perfect. Well, Ed, I know you got to go and I appreciate you taking the time to jump on and, and uh, down the road, maybe six months from now or so, as you continue to, to improve and, and that after we catch a few more fish, um, then I'll, I'll get you back on the call. All right. Sounds good, Kurt. We'll talk All to right. you guys well, thanks, later. Ed. Have a great night. Hi, Leanne. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Katie. Nice to be with you. Great. Um, so you've got um, a great testimonial to share with everyone regarding your brother. Yeah, my my youngest brother, who is 50, nearly 51 years of age now, he developed type 1 diabetes in um, his middle 30s, I think. Um, and, of course, that means all the blood sugars every day and... Um, you get different sorts of um, other problems with diabetes like peripheral neuropathy, which is numbness in the feet, um, and other problems with um, your skin and all sorts of things. So I suggested to him five months ago to try the age pill, and he's, um, he's very open to trying something that will help his, um, his condition more. So he has, and... He's just had a magnificent result. I actually had his wife text me four days after starting the age pill, and she just said, Lee, I think we're on to something here. Mm, and she had noticed something within four days, just in the way that Anthony was looking. Mm. Um, so it's really helped him enormously with his skin. He, he just he was starting to look like a really, really old man. Um, mm. His skin was terrible. He was always tired mm. um, and had very cloudy thinking, um, the numbness in his feet, all that sort of thing from bad circulation. So after five months of being on the HOI, I asked him how he was going. and um, He's just really wrapped in what's been happening. His skin is so much better. He looks 10 years younger. He, he just looks terrific now. He's got a lot more energy than what he had. Um, he said that he's thinking a lot clearer, more clarity, um, and the feeling in his feet is enormously better, wow. um, which is a brilliant thing for a diabetic. Um so he's just started to go on to the Triangle of Life now. Mm -hmm. um, the Spectrum Max, the Eternity, and the Ticoidin. So mm -hmm. that's been probably three weeks, I think, now that he's been on that. Um, I haven't actually asked him how that's going yet, but I, I'll do that soon. Uh, and his wife is also on the age pill. That's when she saw the results that Anthony was getting. Of course, she wanted to get on it. Yeah. And she said to him, you know, can I please have some of yours? And he said, no, you have to get your own. <laughs> yeah, so Sim's got her own and she's looking terrific too. She's, um, she, her skin looks so much better. She's a very thin person and she was starting to look really drawn and now she just looks healthy. She's got a glow in her skin again. She's just looking, yeah, really good and, and lots more energy. So, yeah, it's been really fantastic for my brother with the diabetes, and I'm so happy about that. Um, yeah, and his wife's getting the same sort of result. Well, so just really life-changing um, story, really. Oh, it is. It is. Because diabetes, as everyone knows, just affects your whole life. Mm. Um, his blood sugars have been um, less erratic. You know, they're normalising, so he's not having those high pose like he was getting. He's um, having to use less insulin um, because of that. He's just, um, yeah, so I say, you know, his body's just working better now. It doesn't cure diabetes, but it makes the body function better mm. so that the impact of the diabetes is sort of lessened, I suppose you could say. Mm. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you for sharing that. That was 
very valuable and I really appreciate you taking the time and him allowing you to share it as well. It just can make such a difference to other people to hear the story and what it may or potentially could do for them. Yeah, absolutely. Not a problem, Katie. Anytime. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot and we'll speak to you soon. My pleasure. Bye, Katie. Bye.